Today we're making a paella. So the rice is in with the butter, oil, and um, my um, home saved fats. So I just got browning that off first. So all you're doing with risotto rice is you're, at, you're activating it. Because it's like risotto rice is in like a freeze dried state, you know. So all you're doing is activating it really. So it goes from um, the original state and it starts looking like proper rice. So it goes from small to large. And you just got to be careful you don't burn it. There you go, you just keep turning it. Now that's looking good to me and it's looking like I can now add, um, normally you would put in white wine um, the next stage, but I'm putting in rice wine vinegar. So I'm gonna put in a sachet of that. And then give it a stir. Alrighty. So I'll give that a good stir with the rice wine vinegar. Now I'm gonna add some um, chicken stock. Just a bit of that to start with. So I wanna put my chicken in at some stage. So as you can see, it's soaked up all that stock already like within a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna add a bit of more. A bit of more, stir it in, making sure it doesn't stick to the pan. Uh, did I mention this is all on a low heat, by the way? So, um, yeah. So that's soaking that. I mean, you can see the difference now. The rice is bigger. Yeah. So that's absorbing all the stock. So you just keep stirring it, making sure it doesn't stick to the pan. On a low heat. I'm going to start adding ingredients now. So what I'm going to add now is um, I'm going to add, I've got here, um, I've got, um, it's a pesto, it's a tomato pesto with sun-dried tomatoes in. I've got uh, chopped onions, I've got chopped mixed peppers, um, chili and garlic, and I'm going to stir all that in now. Yeah. Like I said, you got it on a low heat, so you can go make a coffee, you know, while you're adding ingredients, bit by bit. Just get up every now and again, making sure you give it a stir so it doesn't stick to the pan. I'm going to add some more stock in that before I add some chicken. So I'm going to put some more stock in. Some more chicken stock. And now... I'm going to add my chicken in chorizo. So I'm going to add that in there. Remember, you take your time. Get this fucking piece of chicken out. You take your time with a paella. Right. Do this all day. So. I'm going to do that there. In with the stock. Cook that in there. And, um, yeah, I'll just turn that in a bit. And, um, I'm going to add a bit more stock to it. Hang on a second. Add a bit more stock around the sides so that doesn't stick. Okay. And I'm going to turn it right down to its lowest, number one. And then, um... Make sure, just make sure none of that's sticking. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, is put a lid over it. Make a, I'm gonna make a coffee. So I'm gonna put a lid over it. There we go. And um, make a coffee. Okay, so I'm making a coffee. She's having some milk. It's 
Gonna look at that. Yeah. That's doing great. All that rice, I'll stir that in a minute. Um, it's gonna soak that up. Now, traditionally you would use saffron, but it's bloody expensive these days, so I'm gonna use some ground turmeric. Okay. So yeah, so I've put on the turmeric. I'm gonna um, stir that in now. As you can see, Chicken's already cooking on one side. So now I can stir that all in. And, um, next thing I'm going to add the fish I, I did, um, I prepared all the fish earlier. Um, I've got, so the fish I'm adding, well, I'll tell you as I'm putting it in. So, let me just make sure that's all stirred up. So um, we get the turmeric all through the paella. Da, 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 da. All you're doing as, as well, I mean, as well as mixing all the ingredients, obviously, you are making sure. Got to keep an eye that it doesn't, doesn't stick to the pan. Otherwise, that can be a pain. Right, so I'm going to stir that in, and then next thing, I'm going to put in the... Um, fish and prawns so yeah i've stirred all that up now next thing is um i'm going to be adding the fish right i just want to point out yeah this is not a traditional spanish paella paella or whatever um a spanish person would make look i i put my own twist on meals okay so before you start making comments in the comment section. That's not a proper pie, yeah. Um, look, listen, I do my own twist on it and give people ideas, okay? So, um, another thing I've put in there um, with the meats, uh, with the uh, chicken and the chorizo was all-purpose seasoning. And I've sprinkled some on my uh, fish mixture as well. It's this stuff you can get in Lidl's. It's really good stuff. I mean, you get a big jar of it. Wow. It's amazing. So, yeah. So, let me just take you through. Uh, so, we've got uh, prawn. So, these are raw prawns. I've, I've also sliced up some cod. So, we've got cod. Um, and we've also got some... I've decided to put in smoked bass. So, yes, you can get smoked bass. Uh, most of these ingredients are from Lidl, so, and I've also, for a fun thing, I've put in those um, fish sticks that you can buy, those crab sticks. So yeah, so I'm just going to pour all that in, all the fish, which is quite a lot of it. God, my pan isn't big enough, is it? But anyway, should cook down a little bit. So I'm going to also add, add some stock around, put it in the middle too. So I'm going to put the stock in, the chicken stock, and I've only got a bit left. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to give that a stir and then I'm going to put the lid back over, okay? See you in a bit. So yeah, that's looking amazing already. I've just give that a stir now. I'm going to put the lid over, which probably won't. But like I said, the pan. Look at that. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Um. 
I need a bigger, I need a, a proper paella pan. This is um, a pan I got. Um, you put a spike in the middle for doing your kebabs and put it in the oven. But um, yeah, I'm using this as a paella pan today. So <laughs> I'll just put the lid over the top and then um, there we go. No, it doesn't even fit. There you go. That's fine though, that's fine. As long as you've got a cover on it and the heat can um, go through all the ingredients. Okay, so see you in a bit. So I thought I'd bring you back to this stage. Yeah. So there you go. Um, I mean, it's nearly done, but I'm not ready to eat yet. So I won't be serving it. Um, and I just wanted to get the video out show you basically um i don't know um i could have a little taste um so we'll go just get um something a cooked prawn yet that looks cooked Bit of chorizo, bit of chicken. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that on cook actually. Um, leave that to cook for a bit before I ever taste of something. I want to make sure everything is cooked through properly. Um, let me get rid of that. I'm not having that yet. <laughs> get off the fork. Right. Sorry, I'm just being a bit impatient because I just want to wrap this video up. But um, you get the picture. Here we go. So that's got... Like another five, ten minutes before it's properly cooked. Um, yeah. And I mean, I can have a taste of the sauce. And tell you, yeah, that tastes like paella. So, I mean, <laughs> there's no surprise there. I actually, I, I don't know why, but I actually prefer the turmeric to saffron. I mean, saffron's nice, but it's so expensive. But turmeric, turmeric is nice in a paella. So, um, yeah. Now, I just want to make, I just want to um, wait until those prawns have turned. Um, the colour of cooked prawns, basically, before I have a taste. But... Yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up now. See, that's the success. Tastes like paella. Um, yeah, perfect. All right, goodbye.